What's up everybody, Kusuki Gaming here, back at it again with another great video. Um, today's video I'm going to do something a little different. I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but I was going to wait till I got all the clothes in the game. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been got all the clothes in the game, but <laughs> I want to make a video on, I, a lot of people do fashions and things like that, but I know a lot of people want to, you know, to have the costumes they want and to do there's like certain things you can do in here and there's a lot of great costumes you can create on your own a lot of hidden character costumes I would say like um so yeah I'm gonna show a couple today and um uh if it goes well I'll do a little bit more like I I, I really want to keep this going just to show people there is a lot of hidden costumes in here that you can do not the old basic stuff like oh there's Deborah's costume of course you can make Deborah but just other things that you might not know about so, without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? Use my custom CAC Ronald here, he's going to show you a thing or two. So let's get this going, we can get these out of here. Now, uh, I'll have them on my presets here. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is the classic. The classic. My, one of my, it was, it's one of my favorite, Vegeta's outfits. Because I always wanted, even in Xenoverse 1, I wanted the one, and we finally got it when you become a sand and you get to color customize this and one of my favorite Vegeta's of all time is Super Vegeta when he came back to fight Cell for the second form who is my you know all-time favorite villain is Cell so it's good let's get into it shall we now uh, of course you're gonna wanna hit with that classic I mean to match these I would thought they were more whiter you can go whiter if you want but they're a little bit more on the gray side and I used um, Weiss, the Weiss gloves because I feel like those look so great with the outfit. But um, you're going to want to strike. I hate it with this blue because anything darker was a little bit too dark for me. And as you can see, it was, it was, it was like about right here with the Super Vegeta and the armor. Um, right here, about the gold, right in the middle. And there it is. I looked it up to see if it was exactly that, and it is. Um, I think this looks amazing. I just like this so much. Um, I did do moves, <laughs> just in case. Just a little move theme set here. You know, Earth Splitting. Just things I thought he would might have. Super Vegeta. I mean, because the transformation's in here, but the, uh, the outfit's not. Well, it is now, because you can make it. So here it is. Here is Super Vegeta. For all those who want to make trunks, Super Vegeta, the outfit's in here. Um, let's see. Second one we're going to go through would be Videl. Um, oh, great Sam, great Sam Man too, basically um, is what it is. So you can, I don't, for some reason, <laughs> it switched. I mean, great Sam Man two has her own, so that's pretty cool. But now you can rock it if you want to, if you choose to. That's completely up to you. So what I did is use the Ginyu suit the whole way, and just blend it in, man. Uh, get the colors right here, about about right here. I, anything darker, you can go darker if you want. I think it's a little bit darker right here and the belt a little bit lighter right here and this is this is this is spot on I'm just gonna make this lavender as you can see purple about right here and then the cape is peach up here and everything else brown and there it is just in case you wanted to use that and then put the helmet on here <laughs> a different helmet if you want you can use the door helmet I don't know which, uh, I think, I, I got that, I got that, yeah, I got all, um, it's about, it's right here, somewhere, right here, you can use the door helmet if you want, not mad at that either, um, as far as moves, hmm, oops, ah, I pressed the wrong button, as far as moves, I went with Hawk Charge, Hero's Pose, Justice Rush, Dynamite Kick, Unrelated Rise, Justice Combination, and a Turn Retreat, to cap it all off, um, let's see, go to outfit number three here we got kid Goku we got kid Goku you know from the original Dragon Ball uh, use the uniform to get that in get the gi uh, the ninja and it's a little more on the red side I mean cuz I tried the I know uh, hey, why did not you try the gi I tried the gi but it doesn't really cuz it was tucked in if you guys remember Goku's was tucked in and it didn't come out like this so that's why I didn't use it, even though it would be perfect because, you know, the symbol is on there. I don't know why they... 
I guess I mean I should be mad at it because you can make Ryu, uh, Ryu, Ken, things like that. But now you can make this. You just blend it in as I did right here. As you can see, the secondary. I just blended it in, and then I added Yamcha's feet. They don't go down all the way, but that's all right. And get the wrist, and there you go. Add the Goku wig. As far as moves, man, just do a little basic power pull, command man, command man boost, after image, um strike, unrelenting barrage, and a dragon fist. You can do a super command man if you don't want the unrelenting barrage, matter of fact. And uh you can go super saiyan or nothing yet, or your or Kyle can at that point. And a high tension turn. Or an instant rise. Um for let's see, let's check another outfit here. And this one is one of my favorites. This this one's one of the hidden features here. Vegeta's original, original colors. This is what Vegeta looked like when he originally showed up in Dragon Ball Z. Um, so yeah, I just, it took took a minute to make this, so I had to get the proper colors right. I'm still a little iffy if it's a little bit like this or if it's a little bit like that. I like it like this. This is how I remember it. Um, and I hit it with the light green as you see right here. Darker, a little darker in and then orange it's too bad they don't have the shoulder pieces otherwise this thing would be amazing and I wouldn't take this off <laughs> I, I like the original colors I like the ocean dub as well and what you're gonna do for the shoes is the Kai Pao and the brown eh, it's it could be dark brown you it could be lighter brown and then add the scouter or Vegeta headpiece if you want the the hair but yeah I always like this outfit so I had to keep this in rotation. Uh, as far as moves, I just did flash strike, ga earth splitting, gala gun, because he did at a year. Oh, it took a year because he was on planet Arlia. Then he came, it's it, it, like you know to Earth. And then gala gun, regular full power blast volley. A little bit of I wanted that finger blast move he did to destroy the planet, but you know. As far as uh, the next one goes, we have future Gohan. Now this one is awesome. Now, I did feature Gohan build uh, a little bit ago. It was Super Saiyan 3. Um, big, big shout outs to my buddy uh, JJ Gaming. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead over there. Um, show him some love. Let's see. The uniform, just make it orange. That's all I gotta do. It's just a little bit of blending, make it orange. Have the sleeves come out blue, match it up with the sleeves. Really easy build, really. If you don't want the uniform feet, which I'm not mad at, just add these. That's all. It, it just add these. And it, there you go, man. Really not know much to that. And I did do a move set, you know, his move set, <laughs> Gohan's, Sonic, Senko, uh, Senko Blast, yeah, right here, Mach, Future, Spread Shot Retreat, those type of things. Um, what else do we got? And this is would be my Janimba build. Janimba, one of my favorite characters as well. A great movie character. Um, so let's get right into that. And I, I'm showing you guys on a human, so a lot of people use humans and sands, and this is a sand, so showing you guys what you could do with this stuff. There's a lot of hidden things. Of course, uh, you know, the armor, it's like pinkish, or like purplish, pinkish, purplish. And then get that devil red going. Then on the sides, for the wrist, because you know the the wrist, I have them like not yellow, but like they're like not pinkish, like right in the middle, like right here where skin, a uh, good skin color would be. And at the bottom right here, the feet I think look great. And you can add the Janimba sword. I don't have it, but I have Trunks's sword, the pseudo Janimba sword. I like to say pseudo Janimba sword here. And moves. Of course, one with the Geneva theme, Sledgehammer, Rakesh's Claw, Dimensional Hole, Instant Transmission. I don't know why. I, I like, I feel like he should have had Instant Transmission because he had one of the best, like, he was, he was getting away from everybody. It was, it was amazing how he would just come in and out of Dimension. It was, it was amazing. And Dimension Ray, of course, Break Cannon, because that was missed. Uh, you know, they should have added that to his moveset at least uh, like a mouth blast something but that's alright I did <laughs> so I added instant transmission and a brake cannon and there that is now let's, let's see we're heading to the last of the list here yep and the last outfit would be my gambit 
Uh, Gambit's one of my favorite X-Men, so I had to. I had to show Gambit some love. And uh, you may recognize it from classic Rubens, War. You see me in there, see me rocking this bad boy with Gambit, the character. And yeah, he's a mutant who has kinetic powers, and when he touches things, it's like a charge. So it charges a lot, and then when he throws it, it explodes. And that goes for any, except for organic material. So he can't really touch your skin and do it, but if he like grabs a pillow or something, he can make it explode, which is really cool. That's why he throws cards. But um, Student Blazer, you're going to want to do that. Any brown works for you. I mean, it could be that brown, it could be this brown, any brown works for you. Just to show, any brown works. Um, pink for the shirt. And I went, I went a little, little bit pinker right here. And then blue. Just the second blue. And then uh, everything matches with the blue. Everything matches with the colors. Of course, this is the pilot. Orange star. Because he is a Saiyan. I don't have the regular guns for humans. Or gloves. Power pole, of course. And temple. And as far as moves, oh, throw those cards, baby. Throw the stone bullet. Use that power pole combo. Perfect shot to throw more cards. Um, shine shot to throw more cards. Vacation delete to throw, like, a bunch of cards. <laughs> Dimension rate throws a bunch of cards, too. And a super back jump just to get away from the enemies, just to be different. And there it is. There are my top outfits. I will be doing more and I will be showing more. Just let me know what you guys think and if you like it or not. And who else? Like, you, you got any suggestions? Like, hey, can you think you can make that? Or, like, you think that's in the game or this outfit? Just let me know, man. And leave your suggestions in the comments and I will check it out for the next video. Hey, man, your suggestion might make the next video. <laughs> Um, yeah, man, and this is Custody Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, man. Stay tuned. Got more content like this coming, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Came to crash the video. Neji. <laughs>